Hey, Ruben. Um, you, you, uh, you've had a great season so far. Um, uh, you know, it's a true freshman. Um, I guess, you know, you've had two, no, you've had three starts already. Um, what has the whole experience been like for you? Uh, you know, starting four and O and then this shocking loss and what are some of the learning takeaways that personally that you've had? Well, me personally, this is taking everything serious, really. You know, we don't come up with our A game and we're we're beatable. So we just took this lesson as a team to know that if we don't come out on top of our th- on top of our stuff, um, we can get beat and that's any given game, no matter who we play. And we really we just gonna stay level headed in the locker room and get get ready for next week. That well, was this week. Okay. The other thing is just the f- the faith that you guys still have in your coaching staff. Um, you know, I guess you guys really are like a family. Can you talk about that a little bit, especially after again this last game? So much outside noise, even for the coaches. I mean, we have a lot of faith in our program and our, and our coaches. We love our coaches to the to the end of the world. Really, um, decision that was made. I mean, we're not living in the past. We just focusing on this week, but we supporting our coaches a, a thousand percent, no matter what they're doing. They give us a play. We gonna execute it to the fullest of our ability, and we're just gonna keep working. Thank you. Next up, we'll go to Adam from the Sun Sentinel. Adam, go ahead. Hey, Ruben. Um, first thing I wanted to ask you is just like, uh, obviously, the trip to North Carolina coming up this week. Uh, not to say anything bad about Temple, but it's like your first ACC road great game in a crowd that'll probably be, you know, a packed stadium. Um, just what are you looking forward to uh, about that kind of environment? Um, I'm looking forward to it. Just ready for the atmosphere, ready to make plays, ready to have take the field with my brothers again, and just – it's another week, another opportunity, and we're just looking forward to it. Um, to dominate, we're going to, going against a good team, and we're just ready. Uh, next up, let's go to Brian London. Brian, go ahead. Hey, Ruben. Just can you talk about the process for you? You know, this is obviously being a freshman, being your first year. You can watch all the film on North Carolina or any team that you face every week, and you can go through practice and get a good look from the scout team, but – you know, it doesn't really get real until you step on the field and you're facing every week, you're facing the team you've never faced before because it's your first year. You're facing guys you've never faced before. What is that like for you, that that process of getting ready every week to face something you've never seen before? Um, Well, it's definitely new, I would say, because we've never seen it before. But really, it's just something that we just get in the film room, watch a lot of film. Um, study our opponents and just listen to our coaches. Really, that's all we can do. And it's something that we just do week in and week out. Especially for me, it's my first year doing it. I just listen to the older guys, um, try to spread the word that they're giving me, and going into the week with all I got. Just to just to follow up on that, do you feel more comfortable now at this point in the season than you did maybe in the first game you played, second game you played? Um, I feel like I was comfortable the first game. I, I always told people football is football, so it's never going to change for me. But definitely got a little more acclimated um, throughout the season. You know, I'm playing more games now, getting more plays, more snaps and everything. And just I'm more comfortable. I feel a little more experienced. Uh, next up, let's go to Marcus Benjamin. Marcus, go ahead. What's going on, Ruben? Hey. So, Branson Dean talked about you being a leader. Uh, on this team, uh, that's that's something that I guess is is uncommon with with a true freshman. How how is it that you are able to be a leader in a room full of veterans? Um, really, when I first got here, I had a a great group that led me. So now I'm just re preaching the things that they uh, preached to me when I first got here, and now I just feel like it's second knowledge in me. So, um, it's like the back of my hand. I know it because I was seen when I first got here. So all I'm doing is just repeating what it was taught to me. Uh, next up, we're going to Matt Shodell. Matt, go ahead. Yeah, hey, Ruben. Um, I know you've already started looking at North Carolina a little bit. They have one of the nation's best offenses. Um, you know, just from your perspective, you know, obviously you haven't, like we've been talking about, you haven't really done this before very often at this level. But when you watch film of a guy like Drake May and, and you know, a couple of really punishing running backs, uh, you know, what sort of challenge lies ahead for you and the rest of this Miami defense trying to slow these guys down a little bit? It's the same challenges every week, and that's just playing the game of football. I mean, Drake May is a great quarterback. There's a great team. They're explosive everyone on the field. So we just got to go in the game and play our kind of football to our standard. And I feel like that'll be, we'll be all right. 
because, again, we're going against a great team at their house. So we just got to come in level-headed and just be ready to work, ready to work and ready to play. Any other questions for Ruben? All right, Ruben, thanks for taking the time, and we'll see you Saturday night. Okay, thank you all.